Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today we're going to work on this thing. This is a, uh, a Hoover Wind Tunnel Pro Pet Edition, I guess it is. Um, and this was given to me. So here's what they told me was wrong with it. They said that they were just using it and it shut off. Um, and they couldn't get it to work again. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take it, plug it in, and uh, see what happens. So I got no sparks or anything like that, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on, see what happens. Just quickly right there, just making sure that it actually is spinning up. It is working. So they said it shut off. So here's what's probably the problem. Um, and if you guys have this problem, uh, it's easy fix. Um, whenever it turns on, you this one actually has a little red indicator right here that and if you turn it on, you can see whether or not this thing is clogged in one way, shape, or another, you know, or one way, shape, or form. So you turn it on and you look at that indicator. And, and I can see right there that it was, it was red. Um, and then I just heard something come through. So most likely it's got a clog in it. So we'll unplug it and check it out. So the very first thing you want to do check the cords or I mean check the uh, the hose and a lot of the times this thing will get clogged up right here in the end or right here where it makes a curve and comes up right here um, because it has to make that curve and if something gets in there and gets caught it's not gonna be able to make that curve very well so most likely this thing just came loose what's happening with it is why it shut off for them is it's got a thermal overload or thermal protection in there so when the motor gets too hot it will overload and trip that thermal fuse get too hot and trip that thermal fuse and uh, and then it won't work until it cools off and this the fact that it's working now or at least seems to be working uh, most likely that's what it is and it's had plenty of time to cool off since so what I'm trying to do here is actually undo this hose so that we can check it out and they really put these things in a, in a wonderful spot to try to get this undone man so what you may have to do is grab some pliers luckily I have a small little pair of channel locks and I can kind of place on there and see if I can't get it to uh, go the rest of the way here and it really does not want to turn there it goes all right so once you get it off of here you can take it shake it out um, or if you need to Take your broom handle and just run it down through it. Make sure that it goes all the way through, and when it does, you know it's clear. Um, the other thing is it could have an obstruction in here, um, but you can look up in there with a mirror, or you could take this off and look down this way. Um, I think it just cleared the obstruction. So the other place it could be clogged up is this little hose that comes from the bottom and comes up to here. And it could be clogged up in there so look down in through there um, take you a, a small pencil or something like that and kind of run down in there and see if you can't unclog it that way one other thing and I'm going to go ahead and tell you this um, I did do a video on a previous vacuum cleaner um, I'm going to have the the card up here and what that happened is they actually had taken out the filters and when they took out the filters, it ran and got stuff in the impeller, which is down by the motor. And, uh, and so when it clogged that up, just like this one probably would have done if we would have heard it, um, if it would have ran long enough, is you would have heard that the motor was running really fast and really, really high pitched. Um, and that's why it burns up, because it's going so quickly. It doesn't have the, the air moving through the system to be able to slow down that motor like it should. So... 
Um, you can watch that video. It's a different vacuum cleaner, but they're kind of basically the same idea. You, you just take them apart until you get to that impeller, and uh, you clear that out. So um, I think this one is fixed. If uh, the, only, the only test I can do at this point is to actually just run it for a long time and see if it overheats and turns off. If it does, then I need to check something else out. Um, but I know I checked this out before before doing this and I think that's the only problem that I could come up with and um, the other thing the last thing is check the filters on this you know clear clean this out really well um, it normally has a filter uh, at the bottom Let's see if we can get this loose uh, the impeller is actually right inside here it probably does have a filter right underneath this. You can take off these screws, remove this cover, and take that filter out and kind of shake it loose. Um, awesome. This thing has definitely been used. They've used this for uh, construction purposes. And you have a filter right here on the top. Go ahead and clean that out. These are washable. So you can clean them out, wash them up. Make sure they're dry before you put them back in it. But other than that, I think this one is good to go. I just wanted to share this with you guys. So if you ran across that problem where your vacuum cleaner shuts off and worse, making a really high pitch and then shuts off, um, turn it off, let it cool down for an hour or so, um, plug it back in. If it turns right back on, that's probably your problem. Um, so just make sure and go through and clean it out and make sure it's not, not, uh, not clogged up. If it does have an indicator like this one does right on the top, Watch for that. If it turns red, it means it's got an obstruction. You need to make sure it's all cleared, cleared out. And, uh, and besides that, I mean, I think this is, this is good to go. If, uh, if you got any questions or comments, send them my way. I always like to read them, try to respond to them if I can. Um, if you'd like to see anything else, let me know, and, uh, and I'll try to do it. So uh, appreciate you guys watching, and as always, like and subscribe. Come back for more. I'll have another one out shortly. And uh, until next time, y'all take care.